I believe that someone that's grateful and has a, gra has a, a gratitude in their, in their heart is someone that's humble. A proud spirit, a proud heart has a hard time saying thank you. Just try it. If, if that's something that's difficult, just, and it feels unnatural, just, just say thank you for the next thing that somebody does, for, it's just the slightest thing somebody does for you, just say thankful, thank you. And notice how your heart changes from being me-centered to uh, taking on this uh, thing of, uh, well, there, there's other, around, other people around me and, and they have a life and there's things going on with them and whatever they've shared with me or whatever I got from them uh, they sacrifice to give that to me, whether it be their time, whether it be their 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 energy to help me move, or whatever it may be. That uh, may, maybe it's counsel, maybe they gave us free advice. You know, I I, I really cherish the friends that give me um, godly insight. You know, into into different things that that God that God has uh, blessed them with. See, that takes time. It takes energy on their part. You know, they didn't have to share that with me. But they, but they took their time out of their day to give me a nugget that might change my life. See, a, a grateful, thankful heart is a joyful heart. Proverbs says that a, a joyful heart is a continual feast. That's a nice thought. We think, you know, why, why sometimes our faith doesn't work and we're just barely skimming the surface. We're just barely getting by. And we wonder why sometimes. It may be that God wants to change our hearts in this area of being thankful. Just, just be thankful. For all he's done for us and all the friends that we have, all those that love us, Thank you. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for coming on with me on uh, Saturday night after a football game. I mean, you could spend your time with anybody, but you're spending it with me, and I'm, I'm very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, there's, there's a couple things that I look for in a relationship, in friends, in friends that I really want to bring into my inner circle, people that I want to be close with. I look for two things, two main ingredients. And the first one is gratitude. Is this person grateful for me? Are they grateful for what I have to offer to the relationship, to the friendship? Do they ever say thank you? And the other thing is, are they willing to apologize when they're wrong? You see, a, a grateful person it, and someone is able to apologize when they're wrong, it makes for a, a long-term friendship because no matter what you go through, no matter what uh, strain may come on the relationship, if that's that mutual understanding of desiring for the truth, desiring to have the truth, Desire to be truthful and honest, and that's the third ingredient for a good relationship, is that we're honest. Because how can two walk together unless they be agreed? An ungrateful person that lies, an ungrateful person that doesn't, uh, doesn't show any gratitude, is someone that has a very, is very short-sighted. Because every time uh, these things are, are, are these very fundamental things to our relationships um, can uh, can cause a relationship to go south very quickly. I've noticed out of my own life how if I took somebody for granted a relationship, how I may have lost that and it would have been my fault. And if I've ever done anything to hurt any of my friends, I want them to know that I'm I'm deeply sorry. I would never want to hurt anyone, but if I have hurt anyone that's 
listening to me, I want you to know that I deeply regret anything that I could have done to hurt you. And I believe that all of us should take on the same, same approach to our relationships, is that I would do nothing to intentionally hurt someone.